Today, folks, all things country here, and as you may have guessed from the thumbnail and the title, today we're going to be reviewing Clash's half gram gold strike pay dirt bag. Came shipped nice and quick. I bought three bags off of them. They came uh, in these coffee bags plus bubble wrap. And each bag is uh, serialized, which I like. So that tells me that he knows exactly how much gold is in here. Gives him confidence, uh, you know, protects him from customers claiming they didn't get gold. It also protects the customers in a way because, you know, it gives you confidence that he, he uh, knows there's at least his half gram guarantee in here. Comes in the usual coffee bag. Um, other than that, let's head over to the description and see what it says. So a pretty decent description here. It says all bags guaranteed to have more than half a gram of gold. Some have multiple grams known as bonus bags. I've been over this before. I'm not a huge fan of bonus bags, but these are okay because they have a minimum uh, guarantee. Most vendors that give bonus bags don't have a minimum guarantee and everyone wastes their money chasing that bonus bag. But uh, obviously with Clash, that's not the case. It says the gold size will range from 12 mesh pickers and 30 mesh flakes to extremely fine flower gold. Material is plus and minus quarter inch. Plaster mining concentrates from Colorado. I've actually seen Shane's videos where he goes out and gets uh, where his concentrates for his pay dirt. They are uh, genuine uh, river concentrates, and you'll see that when I open this up. And uh, other than that, you'll have a chance at finding gemstones and potentially a pick. So pretty cool. He rates this a difficulty level of seven. We'll see if that holds up. I highly doubt it, but we'll see. All right, so I have a tent mesh classifier here. Uh, you guys at home, you can use a kitchen strainer if you don't have classifiers. I'm going to open it up. And right on top, I see a nice piece of what looks like emerald. Very nice. I'm going to pull that out and set it aside. Pretty cool. I'm not a huge gem guy, but I do have a jar of these that I keep going. But other than that, pretty straightforward looking material. We'll pour that in. As you can see, the... Um, well, maybe you can't light, lighter stuff landed on top, but uh, classify this out. Nice rounded river rocks and some gems. I see calcopyrite here. This looks to be some sort of quartz. A couple pieces, pieces of citrine in there. Pretty neat. I'll add that to the gem jar. Not a whole lot in the bigs. There's another piece of calcopyrite or peacock ore. Sweet. All right, so we're all classified. These bigs won't take long. We're going to head over and do the bigs right away. All right, as usual, we have our oil change pan. We're going to add some jet try. Access surfactant keeps the uh, small gold from floating away. And we'll start with the bigs. There's not a whole lot, so this won't take us very long. There we go. Make sure we don't have anything stuck to the bottom of the classifier, which tends to happen. Couple pieces in there, but none of them are gold, so we're good to go. All right, we'll get her all stratified. Still some nice pieces of quartz and stuff in there. A couple of amethyst chips, it looks like. Yeah, and there's actually some flower gold in here. Didn't expect that. That could be naturally occurring. We'll get that all back to the top, have another look. Nothing in the bigs except for that flower gold. But you did say this uh, contains up to pickers. Doesn't bother me too much, but... We'll see if there's any pickers that slid through the uh, classifier. Sometimes that happens with a 10 mesh. You'll get elongated pickers or wiry type gold. So, all right. So before we head over and do the smalls, let's uh, check them for magnetics. I don't think there's going to be too much in here. I mean, he rates it a 7 out of 10 difficulty, which would indicate that there'd be some magnetics in there to me, but... Very, very, very little. In fact, it's not even worth taking out. I'm actually going to leave those in there. So, as I said earlier, I highly doubt this is going to be a 7 out of 10 difficulty. He has an expert level pay dirt and then a, his impossible pay dirt, uh, which is higher than that.
Okay. Well, I will admit that was a bit more challenging than I thought it would be. Uh, more on that in a bit, but let's take a look at our gold. Really nice stuff. There was uh, indeed some pickers in there, which is great. You did say that uh, it contains pickers and fines, so I would have been uh, upset if we didn't get a couple of pickers. That being said, it's my choice to classify with a 10 mesh classifier and not any other smaller size. So, you know, some of these pickers did manage to make it through. There's one over there. There's one here I can pick up fairly easy. There you go. But yeah, some really nice gold. So let's get this stuff dried up. We'll get ourselves a weight. All right, so it's time for our weigh-in. This looks like a pretty decent pile of gold. My eyeballs aren't uh, calibrated by any means, but it looks like it's over half a gram to me. But I don't know that I would think it's like bonus bag, but we'll see. Let's get a weight here. Some of this is quite fine. I didn't expect as much fine gold as uh, what I found in here for sure. Help if I quit hitting my scale with my gold pen. Holy cow. All right. So I do not know if this is a bonus bag or not, but that is well over the promised half gram. We are at 0.636 grams. That is awesome. Okay. So after calculating the ROI, cost of payment was $50. The gold recovered 0.636 grams on a promise of half a gram, which is awesome. Gold value $41.61, giving me a total ROI of 83.2%, which is an awesome ROI, especially for a vendor that doesn't mine his own gold. Great stuff. I do not think this is a bonus bag. I've seen others online that have gotten bonus bags and big nuggets and such. That being said, I'll take it. An 83.2% ROI is fantastic any day of the week. As for the painter itself, Class rated at a 7. I would say it's up there. Uh, I was uh, surprised it had a good amount of hematite in it. And I'm genuinely surprised that there's as big a gap in difficulty between his beginner pay dirt and his strike pay dirt, knowing that he's got expert and impossible on top of that. That being said, I just might have gotten a bag that had a little more hematite in it than others because hematite's not magnetic, so it's impossible for the vendor to remove that. All in all, very enjoyable dirt. Definitely all things country approved. Very much enjoyed it. Plus, I got some bonus gold that uh, I didn't know I was going to get, so I'll take it. Thanks again for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe and support the channel. It's very much appreciated. We're starting to go pretty fast, and it's awesome. So thank you all very much. Cheers, and we'll catch you on the next one.